almost said good morning and it's not currently putting aquaphor over my tattoos hi guys welcome to another vlog if you're new here my name is jade and no this is not the best i've ever looked thank you so much for asking we are vlogging and funny story <laughs> the not so funny story I started vlogging yesterday i took a mental health day from work which was beautiful and amazing full of emotions really uncomfortable ones so fun to deal with and i wasn't feeling it i think i really should have just taken the day to rest but i don't really know how to do that kind of just want to bring you guys along for the day because recently i've had the worst social anxiety like being around people has oh like i just want to stay inside but i'm trying to push past that because i don't want my social anxiety to hinder me i still want to live my life i want to do my shit for a while there i got into like the rhythm of doing a lot of things by myself and then that rhythm ended <laughs> so i want to get back into that rhythm so we're just spending time with me. I'm just not realizing how ridiculous I look with this pimple cream on my face. Why didn't anyone tell me? I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, all of it. I've definitely been in a little bit of like, I'm reflecting a lot. I'm very like, what the fuck is going on with my emotions? I've definitely been thinking about my YouTube channel so much because I'm always like, like what do I want my channel to be? What am I trying to do with it? Seems like whenever I'm just sharing my emotions, it seems so, <laughs> one very vulnerable and two very small i'm like am i really doing much like it's not doesn't seem like a niche it just seems like i don't know it feels weird just ranting to the internet about my feelings i don't know that's what i really want to do with my channel but it's scary so i've just been reflecting on that what i want it to turn into what i is am i okay with how it is now like i'm pretty open I'm pretty open and that is just scary and I think because my anxiety is so high I'm just realizing how scary it is like I'm not big on YouTube by any means we all know that duh it's still scary that people can, can watch just watch this they can just watch me and that's a little scary but I love it but I don't love it but I don't know how I feel um overall I just hope you guys enjoy this vlog I hope my videos are regardless just very entertaining Bon appetit. So cringe. Ew, it's so cringe. Where I'd be like, you know that girl collected stickers? And it was like a form of currency. Like we would like trade stickers. I feel like I just had like a meeting with my manager, but with my mom. My mom, my mom, my mom, my momager. <laughs> there goes the... This is good for the audio. I had my breakfast and I had my coffee and now I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym. Last night I was really pissed off because this tattoo had like a little scab on it where it's colored in and I woke up scratching it. I woke up scratching it. I wanted to kill, oh my God. I, I couldn't control it, I was asleep. Like literally there was nothing I could do. Luckily it like, didn't smear. I think it was time for the scab to come off anyway, but I woke up like what the fuck was I doing in my sleep? Like genuinely I felt like I had murdered someone. So Trace, it's your final prom. How do you feel? Let us know, let the viewers know. I feel good. It's actually my best and final prom. Well, I went to Glacia's prom last year. This is like, you're no longer a kid anymore. You're an adult. How do you feel? You know, pretty good, but also looking at you, I know you peaked in high school, so I hope I just don't do that too. I'm getting ready for the gym and I have the most anxiety. I'm going with my brother. I also booked, oh, I booked a nail appointment. Fuck me, I am so like anxious right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm so anxious because I've been wanting to get my nails done for a bit, but going in and doing it scares the fuck out of me. I've done it before, so I don't know why I'm stressed, but I'm definitely stressed. I haven't had any of my CBD gummies either, so maybe I shouldn't rely on CBD, but or just anything in general and face my anxiety. But today, not today. I don't even know how to explain it. Like my appointment is not until three. I'm scared. I'm so scared. We're gonna try to push past that today. But after I get my nails done, you will not see me out in public at all.
have had some time to change. I feel like the gym girlies are gonna come for me when I say this, but I really don't care. I love having a sweet treat after the gym. Right now, my obsession is Coke. We're watching Modern Family. I'm so excited. This is my favorite thing to do. are my nails. They look so good. Look up, I still have chrome kind of on my skin. I can breathe. I'm in the car. I was pondering on it. I was like, why do nail places like scare the crap out of me? And it was because like, I never know which way they want me to place my hand, which direction to go. I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, well, let me move my hand up for you to help you. And then they put it right back. Like, no, bitch. Like, you dumb fucking bitch. Stop moving it. And then it's like, when they want you to move it, you're like, I'm gonna stay still because I think it's gonna help you out. Long story short, don't think you know more than the nail tech because you probably don't. But I went to House of Nails if you're interested, if you live in Kalispell. We're gonna go home and chill. I have been taking my sweet time on this book because I've loved it so much. And the idea of finding a new book feels like being on Tinder again, which I hate. I'm, I'm just sad to see it end. So I've been taking my sweet time. Catch an air. Wow. wow, that was so good. Whoa, oh, no way. I don't know why. I feel so anxious right now. I don't know. I feel so anxious right now. It's not a joke. This is not a drill, but I feel like there's an elephant sitting on my chest. I just feel so anxious and I'm gonna cry so many angry people and it really puts me in the fight or flight mode and so my body i feel like i'm having, gonna have a panic attack every sunday because then i have to gear up to deal with rude people because i talked about it a little bit in my last vlog but i genuinely it hurts so bad all i want to do is cry when someone yells at me or someone's rude i'm trying to handle it different ways and look at it in a different way why do i feel this way this is so fucking lame like i should just be so unfazed by people's opinions by people yelling at me it's taking a while that's all i wanted to say i really i took my sleeping medication like two hours ago and i wait here i am <laughs> God, it's freezing. Good morning, everyone. We're going to get our teeth cleaned. Funnest parts about moving is you have to squeeze in all these appointments because you're not gonna have insurance for a little bit once you are moving. I listened to a podcast. I'm trying to introduce positive words into my morning. I'll put the podcast on the screen because it kind of called me out. I definitely think I'm in this self-pity phase, but now we just, we just have to get our teeth cleaned. We did it. That was the easiest thing ever. My teeth feel so clean. I definitely feel like I'm on the edge of another mental breakdown again. I was listening to my podcast this morning and I was like, I'm doing so much better. Like maybe, maybe today I can breathe and not want to cry. But alas, here we are. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I think maybe I'm in 
like my body's healing or my brain is processing stuff that maybe I'm not completely aware of yet or who knows? Who knows? I could be delusional. That's definitely a possibility at this point. Oh, I didn't look in the mirror before I started recording. So I guess it does get worse. I got a really exciting package in the mail. So I wanted to share before. I kind of dove in. So, for those of you that don't know, I started a podcast that has like three episodes at this point over the summer. So last summer I started it. The main reason I stopped wasn't because I didn't enjoy it anymore or I didn't find it interesting anymore. It was literally because I was using, I forget what app, let me, but there was this Spotify app that I had so I could upload my audio and they had certain like transition music or intros that you could use for free and it just wouldn't work and it would delete all my progress and it would glitch and it just wouldn't fucking work and so then I was also having problems with my mic because the mic I got wasn't working well at all which it wasn't an expensive mic so I knew I was kind of getting what I was paying for but it literally would not work it was ridiculous I thought of a little bit of a loophole recently and I was like why don't I use one of those little phone mics that people use those are perfect let me try those these aren't expensive either before i show you them they're not expensive so i know i should probably expect you get what you pay for but these reviews were really really good and they were on sale for 16 dollars. so i got these ones here i at least wanted to maybe start planning out a podcast episode i'm also renaming it while thinking about my youtube channel i've thought a lot about starting my podcast again and how I can make it so much more me. I hate when I film from this angle, I really hate it. It actually makes me so insecure. Setting my camera up on my tripod is actually gonna make me cry. I just have one question for people. I have one. How long and why does it need to take you so long to read a form? That's all I wanna know. Dealing with people is so, so, it's so. Can you please read the forms faster so I don't miss the time frame I'm supposed to get my oil changed? That would be so amazing. Thank God my friend Melissa is a goddess and she works specifically on Honda cars and she's gonna be changing my oil and checking my fluids. The Honda 3.5 BTEC. It looks like it's peeing. 